Hey everybody, my name is Liz. I am a mom of five kids. I'm currently going through a divorce and an eviction. And I put my life on the internet. So if you want to see that, subscribe and stick along, guys. So welcome to another vlog. Bubba just got on his bus. That's his bus right there. Pull it off. Look at this, Coyote. Hi, what are you showing me? What you showing me? What are you showing me there? You got a teether? You got teeth in there that you're, that you need teethed? You need, you got teeth that you need teethed? What? I cut my hair. So guys, Sophie just brought this to me and reminded, she made this for me a while ago, but she just reminded me that I was supposed to take this part off. This was a secret message under here. And so we opened the secret message and it says, I love you. <laughs> she put her little phone number. And yeah. That's, over, over everything that's, she could have done, she, she put that. Hi. She's been waving a lot. You've been waving a lot saying hi. For every chance you get. Mariah, don't wear them boots. I like it's winter. All right, whatever. Sophia, wear them. Whatever. You gonna let me see? You gonna <laughs> grab my boot, huh? Okay. You are gonna have my boot, just like you always wanted. Sorry, I didn't get that. What? Is, the internet isn't reachable. What? Yeah, the Wi-Fi is. I something with the. I don't know. I gotta go in the basement and figure out why the lights aren't working. Why the Wi-Fi is. So yeah, we had to use a ring light this morning for the bathroom because I, I gotta figure out what the hell is going on with that light when I get back. So guys, so far I've had like a horrible morning. Well, I won't say horrible, but it's like been rough and my mood is a little on edge. So I wanna turn that around. I don't wanna dwell on that because that's not gonna make my day go good. I'm trying to get out of traffic to get out of where the school is. I just dropped the girls off. Sophie just had a huge problem today because she couldn't find her jacket. She didn't really even look for it. I went back in and got it, but it was the wrong one. And I told her, you can't be doing this. You can't be doing this. This is added stress. This is why you need to be ready for school in the morning. And then she had, you know, the nerve to just keep on going and crying and crying and crying about it in the car on the way there. And when we got there, even after I've told these girls, it, look, the crying and the fighting in the car is distracting me it distracts me so then i have to turn the music up so now i turn the music up i'm gonna stop at get go and i'm gonna get some red bull i know i said that i was quitting red bull but i still want to quit red bull yesterday i actually went all day without red bull i did not have any red bull yesterday at all which i'm very proud of so i know that i can do it but like i just i really want a red bull right now guys i i'm sorry like you know I don't know why I'm saying sorry to you. I should be saying sorry to myself, but I, I need a Red Bull today. So that's what I'm gonna go do. And I have a lot to do when we get home because I'll show you when I get back there. But Bubba got up in the middle of the night. He, I could not put him in his room last night because I had stuff in there and he fell asleep on the couch. So I let him sleep on the couch, but he did wake up in the middle of the night. And I woke up to like just stuff banging all over the place. And he was, like banging the toaster like over and over again onto the floor in the kitchen I guess so I'm guessing the floor I don't know but it's broke and um I so in the middle of the night me and Mariah Mariah helped me um take everything out of whatever was in Bubba's room all the stuff that I've been packing and she helped me take it out and put it into the I'm so sorry I just realized that I was probably like that you probably didn't hear that much of what I was saying really because the windows were open but yeah Mariah helped me take everything out of the um everything out of Bubba's room so everything is just kind of all over the place from that last night the toaster the stuff in Bubba's room dirty clothes from us getting ready this morning everything is just kind of chaotic all over the place so when I get home I need to put them in the, put them more in the high chair give her some bananas or something that she can feed herself for now and start getting to work on this stuff because I need to get this accomplished today and I cannot be staying in no negative mindset even though I was in a bad mood this morning from the kids misbehaving I cannot let that give me put me in a negative mindset 
So that's the last you're gonna hear about that situation. So the only thing that it that I gotta worry about really when I get home is cleaning up and then also I don't know why my why the bathroom light isn't working and the heat is not working either. I don't wanna go down here. so nasty down here. I just reset all of them, guys, so... We had this for when Lily was here because he kept going in the basement and the landlord was, like, complaining about him being in the basement. Um, so I put that there. It's like a little net thing, which kept him out of there. You know what I mean? I didn't want him down there anyways. Do you see how nasty that is? So if that doesn't work, I'm going to have to call the landlord. No doubt about it. I don't know what light I'm supposed to use in my bathroom. You know what I'm saying? You want me to take a shower in the dark? No, I'm just kidding. I'll figure it out. Let me give him more of this banana and then I gotta go see if the lights work in the bathroom. I didn't take a shower yesterday, so I was definitely planning on taking a shower today. Hold on, hold on. This girl loves her bananas. Loves her some bananas. Don't you? I like bananas too. Bananas are good for you. This is how my cupboards look from the water damage. I've told the landlord, he said he was gonna replace them. This was months ago. But then when I reminded him after I paid the rent this past month, that's when he sent me the eviction letter. Like, look how they're just falling off the wall. I had to take the doors off myself because the doors started to like kind of hang weird like off of there. So I had to take it off. And here you could see too where it's like, you know what I mean? And I told him, I was like, are you, when are you gonna fix these cupboards? And he was like, oh, um, I need to speak to you on the phone. And we talked on the phone and he told me on the, he told me over the phone why he was like kicking me out. You know what I mean? He told me. He also sent me the letter too. But, um, you know, his reasoning behind it was because the police were here too many times. But that is because of the situation going on with my husband. Well, my separated husband. So this is a situation I have going on here because the lights won't turn on in the bathroom. I don't know why like this, like, I don't know. Maybe one of you guys could tell me these buttons aren't working. This isn't working. Like, I don't know what happened. Hi, Peanut. <laughs> We're just in here getting a bath. Amora's having a bath time. She loves bath time. She loves bath time, don't you? She got so excited when I started that water. Yes, you love bath time, don't you, pretty, pretty girl? So yeah, we gotta use the ring light, as you can see. But you know what? I'm doing what I gotta do. I did put a call into the landlord and a text, and I sent him a little video. You know, nothing rude, but you know, just a video so we can see, you know what I mean? And get a better look get a better look that's all so guys i'm about to take these shelves apart so that i can store them a little bit easier i'm gonna try to fit i'm gonna try to fit everything in this closet we're gonna see if it, if it, if it happens i'm gonna try to fit everything in there and then lock it up so that doesn't get to it and then whenever we move The way that these shelves were, I have a lot of them, and they were like the way that sticking out like that, they're very hard to store. It's like almost impossible. So I'm gonna make a pile right here. Yeah. Yeah, Mora. You want some of that? So the landlord hasn't responded to me yet. Supposedly this guy is supposed to be professional, and also he's a realtor. And you would think meeting, you would think seeing him that he's young, that he's older, that he's like probably in his thirties, but he's not. He's younger than me. More than when we moved in here, I think he said he was like twenty-seven. 
So the dude is young, which I know doesn't mean anything, but I still feel like he's wrong for kicking us out like this and only giving me 30 days because he knows my situation. But him being so young, he doesn't have much life experience. He doesn't really understand, you know what I mean? He doesn't really get it. So I don't think that's why. I think maybe like that has something to do with it and being young, but I know not all young people are like, you know what I mean? There's some young individuals that are very, very smart, very wise, you know what I mean? But I just feel like he just doesn't get it. Um, Amora, I don't want you over here. No, and I have to put you in the Finding Nemo thing thing. If you don't listen, you better go over there. Guys, my hair looks crazy. I can just see like the shadow of my hair on there and my hair just looks crazy right now. But you know what? I don't care because I have other friends. Like that is not my priority. You know what I mean? And I'm not trying to impress anybody. And you know what I mean? I'm not on here trying to impress you guys with my look. You guys aren't watching because of my looks. I don't think. I want to get this done so I can take a shower. I want to get everything in this closet. We just put this in the closet very quickly last night because Bubba, but it's not in there the way that I want it. I need to switch it up, switch it up a little bit. Okay, that's Mariah's. So this can actually go, I can go in her closet. Amora! Guys, I gotta get a humidifier soon. Oh, this is more shelves that I probably should have taken apart. Yeah. I'm gonna do that. Shelves. I didn't realize there was that many, to be honest with you. I think they're probably used in the bathroom temporarily. Whoa, baby. You alright? Whoa. unpacking the stuff in Bubba's room. Amora is playing with this Furby that I gave her because it started talking in the box and I'm like, you know what? Let me just give this to her because I know that thing ain't going to shut up for a minute. So guys, I did this little time lapse while I did the dishes and yeah, I held up the broken toaster that Bubba broke and I'm just looking at myself and I'm just like, you know, chugging along. 
no shower, hair everywhere, stains on my shirt. But you know what? I don't care. Who cares about all that? The fact that uh, that is, I'm moving along and I'm getting things done and moving forward. Right, guys? The dishes done. Put a load of laundry in. Everything is pretty much done. The only thing I want to do right now is actually take a shower. Oh, yeah. I do need to do... I'm going to lower the crib today. The tools are already in there. So, so guys, we're out in the van. We're about to go to Walmart because I need to get a calendar for the custody schedule. And Amora is playing with this Furby. She loves it. You love that Furby? Is that your friend? Look at, Look at that cutie. So we're about to go take a ride. And look how beautiful it is today, guys. Like... So guys, um, the electrician is here right now looking at the bathroom situation. Um, and Jorge actually just called me because, and I'm looking for more stuff. Jorge just called me and said that he's pretty much like right near my house and he wants to see him more for a little bit. So for like just a couple hours, I guess he has a meeting at 4.30. So I don't know, it's two now. So that's, you know, he doesn't have much time, but I told him, yeah, come on. And I think he just pulled up right now, so, um, yeah. Do you want to go see your dad? You want to go see your dad? Yeah? So, guys, um, yeah, Jorge can go suck a big fucking you-know-what because he wanted to come over here and act like he wanted to see his daughter for a couple hours. But you know what? I think he's really up to some bullshit. I really don't get a good vibe from that at all. And, you know, I should have been recording because he was recording me the whole time. But he said that, um, asked me if I was going to be out by the third, if I got an apartment yet. And I said, well, it's not really your concern. I said nicely. And um, he said, well, yes, it is. And he just started causing a problem. And making an argument instead of just taking the baby for a couple hours. So you know what? We're gonna end this right here. I ain't playing no more games. I told Jorge that before, and I've been telling people that. I'm not playing no fucking games no more. So I just picked up the girls, and Mariah just told me that somebody like stole her. Like, she has this like squishy cube thing with like glitter in it. It's actually pretty cool. And one of her classmates or whatever, one of the bullies, stole it from her. So, that's not cool. That's not cool. And the fact that she's always telling me that people are being disrespectful and bullying and saying disrespectful and just downright rude things. And I'm really sick of it. I'm really sick of it, guys. No. Um, we were, um, she, um, someone said, um, they called me a mother... Wow. We're probably gonna go out and take a walk. And go to French here. Amora's over here being so cute. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm, got a little, got a little thing on your face. Hmm. Hi. Mom's over here editing. Bubba's over here. Say hi, Bubba. Oh, open the door. Say hi, guys. Say hi. Open the hi. <laughs> he said hi. Oh, he said, yeah. he said hi to you guys. She, she was like, oh, good girl. She, was, she was like, not open. They should hey, but stop. No more. No more going outside, okay? Okay, so guys, we stopped at the park. We stopped at Frontier Park. Um, the one that I normally come to, but this is actually, girl. We want to get her a little bit higher. No, that's it. That's it. That's it. Is that fun? Is that fun? Honey, 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 honey. No, no, no. Gentle, gentle. That's a bit too much. This is all that she can really handle right now. Just this. I guess she's gone. I guess she left, huh? So, yeah, I have to keep an eye on Bubba, obviously. He, like, kind of, like, pretty much, like, does his own thing. He doesn't really play with other kids. He just kind of, like, hangs out with himself. He keeps himself company. He's like mom. So, I'm going to show you guys him over there. Hold on. He's right over there, guys, by the swing set. Be careful. 
Girl, girl. Hold girl, down. no, you have to go down with her. I am. She can't sit up I'm on this. She's not going to know what to do, girl. Look at that poodle. <laughs> oh. All right. Ready? All right. Ready, go. Wee. Was that fun? You want to go on the break? Guys, we're back home, and I am about to cook some grilled cheese. I'm also making some dinosaur shaped chicken breast nuggets yeah. and also some corn yeah it's good mm -hmm. especially with the barbecue sauce because she's bought good barbecue sauce wait i want to show you something it's this activity but that i got from lunch mm. today and, whoa it smashed the dots and it's so confusing wow are you gonna do it yeah Sit up, sit down at the table while I cook. Okay. This afternoon was very, very stressful. Jorge was acting super funny today. I just really, I just need to go to sleep. Yeah, I just need to go to sleep. I love y'all. Thank you for watching my videos. I love y'all guys. Have a good night.